Aquarius, hello, Amanda here. Welcome to Unseen Hands Healing. This is going to be your October shift reading. So we're looking at the shape you're shifting out of this month, the shape you're shifting into and what that shape shift looks like. So Aquarius, before we get into cards, I'm hearing that song, I think it's a Moby song. We are all made of stars. We are all made of stars, okay. So this is interesting, especially coming off of the Capricorn reading that I just did because it was talking about navigating by the stars in some sense, um, looking to the skies for navigation. And I'm like, okay, interesting. So if we take this idea of navigating by the stars and we bring it to a more internal and yet like zoomed out collective Aquarius perspective on that, like Capricorn is like, okay, how are we navigating by the stars? Like taking action and direction and leadership according to the stars. And then Aquarius says, we are all stars. You know, like we are our navigation systems. If the stars are, are what we navigate by then, and we are stars, then we are what we navigate by. Okay, so there's this interesting little partnership happening between the Capricorn reading and the Aquarius reading that's like, yeah. It's true, we're navigating by the stars. And now let's take that into this like much more existential perspective to realize that we are all made of stars, that we are not separate from the universe. Mm. Okay, Aquarius, we're using the slow holler tarot. And we're gonna start by asking what is the shape Aquarius is shifting out of in October. Five of stones, release, letting go of holding on is what I'm getting. Letting go of holding on. It's interesting because the fives are, they speak to me of change, times of great change, maybe even chaotic change. I mean, that's, that is what we are all in collectively right now, times of chaotic change. And this is the five of Pentacles can bring the sensation of falling, and we're seeing that quite literally in this version of the card, a sense of a free fall, and we don't know where we're going to land. But what's beautiful about this card is there's an inherent armor on this armadillo that is going to protect the landing. And I think this is pointing you, Aquarius, towards a sense of security in the free fall, which came through for another sign. Taurus, forgive me, I can't keep them all in my head right now. Okay, so then what is the shape Aquarius is shifting into in October? energy Aquarius letting go and allowing the change which I can't think of a more potent energy for you know I'm I'm doing this reading on the heels of the equinox in the northern hemisphere that's the autumnal equinox that is we are facing the season of the death card which is change um, in the sense of transformation from the the green verdant life of spring and summer and transitioning into the leaves dying and everything going dormant underground to save itself to hold hold its energy over the winter over this season of death that is to come. Knowing that the seasons will always change, that spring will always come in some sense. Wow, this is releasing into the change, into the transition, into, it's interesting because this is making, it's, it's an incredibly, um, it is an incredibly existential energy because it's 
speaking to me. Oh, wow. I just got the image of a falling star because this is like a falling death. And it's like, if we are all made of stars, I'm, I'm getting the image of like a falling star as a dying star, but that's what we actually wish on. So isn't that interesting? Falling to falling into death, knowing that death is not the end. It is a certain kind of ending, but perhaps more accurately, it is a transition, a transformation into something else. You know, it's like I'm getting all these thoughts of like, do we ever really die? Do we just change form? If we are made of stars, then do we just become stardust? You know, do we just become another cosmic being in the universe. This is such Aquarian energy. <laughs> okay, what does this shape shift look and feel like for Aquarius in October? This is absolutely a partner reading to the Capricorn reading that just came through. This is the existential perspective on the energy that Capricorn was sensing and reacting to in a very practical um, mobilizing action oriented way. And then Aquarius is taking that and reacting in a very sort of existential, uh, an energy of ex as existential release for the, for understanding the larger energetic shift that's happening. The star. Whoa. Aquarius. There it is. I like this version of the star. It's like a spotlight in the sky helping to illuminate the darkness, showing the way. Whoa, and actually, I've never really cared about this before, but I'm noticing, um, because what came through in the Capricorn reading was so much about the rains coming, the rains that are coming, it's beginning to rain. And here we're seeing, um, it actually looks like either like stardust, see that, or like rain. The star is illuminating the rain, or illuminate, you know, Something, something about that. Looks like rain. Okay, the star, what else? For Aquarius in October, yeah, the 10 of knives. Was there another card? No. Oof. Oh, geez. A very, very intense ending. It's like this larger, you know, the energy of the star and death. These are major arcana energies. These are much larger archetypal shifts that are happening, much larger shifts in our um, human evolution, actually, I want to say, because of that Aquarian penchant for keying into the collective. This, that's what this feels like. And this is a shift in consciousness. This is the end of a cycle of a certain way of thinking. I think it's a destructive way of thinking, Aquarius. So again, this is very collective, but I'm sure it's keying into something very personal for you. Oh, this is the end of a collective consciousness that has wreaked havoc. A painful ending to a painful consciousness. A painful ending to a painful perspective. But sometimes we need painful endings to shake us out of those old ways of thinking. Ah, ow. One more for Aquarius in October. And I think that's why the five of stones here, which is just like, let go. Let go and trust. Let go and trust, trust this free fall, trust that it has to happen this way. Okay, so many cards just came out. I'm just definitely gonna take the chariot because it peaked when I was doing the pre-shuffle. I'm just gonna take the chariot. Talk about we are all made of stars, my friend. This is you, Aquarius. This is you seeing what's happening. I think you're seeing it just like Capricorn is, you know? Y'all are seeing what's going on. 
you're seeing the collective shift in consciousness that is happening and you end your personal shift in consciousness that is happening and you know it's a free fall and you know it's going to end in a certain kind of way. And it's maybe not going to be comfortable and it is maybe not going to be pleasant. But you are in this reading sensing that it is for the collective greater good because it's going to bring the changes and the just and the destruction that brings the transformation and changes that need to happen you also know that there's a certain element of this that we are powerless to because death is a is a force we cannot control okay this reading is absolutely facing our own mortality and surrendering leaning back into the free fall. I don't know that I've ever seen the Moby music video. We are all made of stars. I'm like not getting images of it, but I'm wondering if that's something we should watch. I'm going to go watch it after this reading. But then, you know, it's like you're sensing that's coming and you're preparing for the free fall. You're, you're, you're sort of um, on a very, again, existential level, beginning to let go and allow the consciousness shift because here you are should do this here you are look you know in the in the flat bed of your truck just like having a real human experience looking up at the stars in this existential moment of preparing for the moves chariot the vehicle that takes you from here to there that helps you through this transition it's like the night before a really big thing happens that changes your life and you just like drive up to the high point on the hill and you you pop the the back of the truck and you just lay there and you look up at the stars and you just feel everything that it is to be alive and to be human and to be so much smaller than all of it and to be also so much made of it and a part of it <clears throat> I think you're ready for whatever comes next. Or this reading is encouraging you to trust. Because the star is about faith. It's about hope. It is about trusting what comes next. Even when you can't necessarily see it. But trusting that you're a part of it and trusting that you'll be guided through it. You got me. All right, we're gonna take this into an extended reading now and use some other cards to get some clarity. Let's see if we can bring this collective message into something more personal, more specific for you, Aquarius. So if you'd like to join me there, click the link in the description box below and it'll take you over to Patreon. Patreon is an online community I've created for folks that are enjoying my work and wanna dig deeper. If that sounds like you, head on over there, read the description when you get there so you know how to receive your extended reading and I'll send you the rest of this reading for your October shift. Aquarius, thanks for a beautiful reading. Take care. This is your personal reading, Aquarius, but it is also a collective energy. So it's saying that like you personally have participated in cycles that have harmed yourself and others. And also join the club. Okay. So this is the shift shifting out of cycles of harm. And so you're being asked to take personal responsibility here, Aquarius, for the ways that you have participated in cycles of harm. Because we are dying to those old cycles and reawakening to an update. We are being guided to through an opportunity to evolve our consciousness, collectively and personally.